Hi, my name is Juana Yupanko, also known as Mesa ni Mrs. At Mesa ni Mrs. we create recipes using local native vegetables. I've created a cookbook. In the beginning, I didn't think people still actually read cookbooks because everything's online and on Instagram. But I realized um, after doing this for a few years that people really want something tangible to look through, to flip through, and to hold in their kitchen. The book I'm coming up with is more than a cookbook. It's also a guide on how to store, use, and cook our local Filipino vegetables. My favorite part of the cookbook where it has a vegetable guide and in that guide you'll find information, health facts, nutrition facts about our favorite vegetables to use on Mesa ni Mrs. What's good for making a soup, what's good for making a salad. So hopefully that part is helpful and educational for everybody who reads it. Everybody can benefit from this book. You don't have to be a vegetarian or a vegan. The book just offers new ways on how to enjoy our local vegetables. I'm just trying to show you creative ways on how to cook vegetables that you thought you were familiar with, but we're providing you a different way of cooking it. I'm very excited to share this book with everybody. Please grab a copy. It's launching very soon. For more recipes, please check out www.messanimesis.com or follow us on Instagram at Messanimesis. Good evening, everyone. This is Raul Manzano, Editor-in-Chief of Metro, Metro Society. I'm very excited tonight to host this virtual book launch of a very good friend of mine. She, this young lady has been on the cover of Metro Society and she's been featured a lot of times inside the magazine. So after three years of sharing recipes online, the, Me the Mesa ni Mrs. Cookbook is finally here. 40 delicious recipes. Tonight, we have Juana Manahan Yupanko to tell us how to transform a kitchen to Bahay Kubo kitchens and to create plantlasang Pinoy dishes. Welcome, Juana. Hi, Raul. Thank you for having me. I know it's way past your bedtime. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's how much I love you. I'm usually asleep oh. by 7 o'clock. I, and I go running at 2.30, but for you, I'll do it. I'll, do, I'll stay oh up for goodness. you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you finally came out with your book. I'm so happy. It was delayed yeah. for a little bit okay. due to the pandemic, but everything in good time. Okay, great. So how, how, why do you emphasize a Baha'i Kubo kitchen? What does this mean? A Baha'i Kubo kitchen is um, essentially making use of local vegetables. It's because they're in season all the time. Yeah. It's cheap, it's affordable, it's accessible. Um, yes. And when people ask me, what should I eat? I say, you sing Baha'i Kubo oh, and okay. when you go to the grocery and that's what you buy. And that's what okay. you should eat. Yes. Uh, because it's the stuff that's, um, that nature gives us for our climate, for our health. Um, yeah, it's really the most nutritious. And I know now there are 18. <laughs> there are 18, 18 vegetables in that 18 song. 18 vegetables in that song. song. So A if lot. you sing that song, <laughs> that's basically all the vegetables you need in your kitchen. Yes, you can yeah. totally live off that. On the, okay. On those so vegetables. What inspired you to start this plant based diet in your lifestyle? So about three years ago, you know my husband, Rick, quite yeah, well from yeah, your party yeah. days. <laughs> yes. San Francisco um, and Manila. Okay. Yes. So yeah. um, since the time, like Rick loves the good food, good drink. He's quite healthy like you. He runs a lot. But yes. about three and a half years ago, we found out that he had very, very high cholesterol. And mm -hmm. he didn't really want to take any medicines to, <laughs> to yeah. bring it down. Yes. So I said, why don't we try a vegetarian, a vegan diet? Yeah. 
Yeah. And after a month, his cholesterol dropped by 100 points. And after yes. another month, it, it, it dropped further. So by that time, the doctor said, well, if he keeps this up, he doesn't need to take any more medicine. So we said, yeah. okay, let's do it. Let's, let's stick yeah. to it. Um, and over, the la- over two years, our whole family eventually went plant-based. It wasn't overnight. Plant-based. and it was, Yeah, it yeah. wasn't easy. Yeah. Um, and when, when I was thinking of like um, how to do it, I was, you know, I'm going to go broke on kale and broccoli. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, ve- the expensive then, vegetables, right? Yeah. I so said, there's got to be a way to do this yeah. with local stuff. Why not? You know, they, yeah. they eat this yeah. everywhere. Um, and the, the difference with the Mesa and Mrs. Cookbook is the recipes are not only Filipino recipes. They're international yeah. recipes. So we have okay. Indian, Spanish yeah. Chinese. Tonight we're doing Korean yeah. for you, um, oh, wow. but you're using local ingredients. Yes. Yeah, because do the lo- do the ingredients have to be organic? For me, no. No. Uh, okay. No, because our local vegetables, just by virtue of how they're grown, how farmers grow them, they don't really require so much uh, pesticides or yeah, um, right. fertilizers because they grow here. They really belong here. Yes, so that's yeah. another plus. Yeah. So they're endemic to the country. Yes. And, you know, a lot of these vegetables are planted in the backyards of people's homes, right? So yes, you don't absolutely. need fertilizers, right? You Because, you know, organic veg- vegetables, foreign vegetables are very expensive. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, um, like or, or you need a different ca- climate, like carrots yes. in Baguio. You need yeah. cold climate. And, you know, we're, yeah. we're in the lowlands. That stuff doesn't grow. Yeah. They have to ship that in. So we saw yes. problems with that during lockdown. Yes. We were getting mm. 200 kilos of tomatoes or carrots that were unsold because yeah. they couldn't come in. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Sad for the farmers. Yeah. So, what would what would what would be tips for uh, a family or someone to start a plant based diet? I'd say start slow. Um, don't be so mm-hmm. hard on yourself uh, is one thing. The second one is don't forget to flavor your food the way you flavor meat. So, I used to cook meat really really well, and I still yeah. season my vegetables the way I would season meat. In fact, a lot of the chefs that we worked with on Mesa Mrs. are not plant-based. They're, they love their meat. Yes. In fact, in the book here, we have three uh-huh. recipes by Chef Happy on Pao who always tells yeah. me, I love, I mean, she's known for her porchetta. She has a stall called Lechon. Yes. <laughs> yes, so, right, in the grid. Like, yeah. yeah, in the grid. And like vegetables, yeah. like she's like, I always I need to eat more. But I challenged her and I said, yeah. um, like when we shot the book, she catered yeah. my whole shoot. I said everything has to be vegan, gluten free. Yeah. She was like, You're you're gonna kill me. But you know what? <laughs> her food is delicious and she yes. can do it. So I am convinced that chefs who cook well will be able to cook vegetables okay. well yeah. it translates so well so what how do you what, when you mean seasoning you use the regular seasoning like salt pepper or you also now include herbs into the uh, seasoning all of the above all the okay. herbs indian chinese you yes. name it we use yeah. all of that stuff um mm-hmm. in fact in the book there is a section that tells you like what you should have for your pantry, um, Filipino yes. food, Indian food, yeah. uh, Asian. And I say to invest in that because you're going to use it for a really long time. Yes, right, right. So now planning <laughs> meals for the family, how does that go about? I mean, how do you match another vegetarian with another vegetarian or yeah. another plant-based food? That's, that's kind of difficult, right? Yeah, well, um, for us, the way we think about it is let's oh. say we do a spaghetti bolognese. I'll yeah. make uh, kamote fries with, for that with, with the kids. Um, we have quite a few Indian dishes. So we have like our mung dosa, our langka biryani. You can put those together. Recently, mm-hmm. I've been cooking lots of Korean food because just like Metro, that style, yes. I yeah. got bitten by the K-drama fever as well. Um, <laughs> and like we have we, on the website now, we have a whole bunch of different uh, Korean recipe. So I'd say it's not really that different from uh, matching yes. other stuff because we do it by cuisine. 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Then, how do you introduce kids to a plant-based diet? I mean, you Super know, kids love tricky. chocolates, love ice cream, love yeah. chips, you know, junk food. How do you change their habits? Oh, man, that took a while <laughs> with, <laughs> with my kids, slowly but surely. Um, yeah. I, one thing I did that was very effective is I got them involved in cooking and making mm -hmm. dishes. They watched me cook. So in the recipe, I have two recipes that were actually written by my kids. Jaime did the kamot yeah. and gnocchi and Rosanna, my daughter, did something called the princess potion. And I said, you know what, if that's what you like, I'll yeah. put it in my book and finish yeah. it. And you know, they're, they're so happy that it's like that. And it's just really getting them involved. Um, for, for a while, like uh, my, my daughter only wanted to eat broccoli. I'm like, yeah, go eat broccoli. It's yeah. better than eating then junk, junk food, food. Yeah, chips. Yeah, yeah. Um, up to now, she doesn't like mushrooms if you saute it for her, but she'll yeah. eat like mushroom chips or if it's oh, yeah, yeah. in a burger. So it's yeah. all about just finding a different way. What, what yeah. I think like with any food, what forms and shapes yeah. your kids will take the food in. Yes, you know, like, like, like some mothers like to disguise the food when there's actually vegetables in them, no? Without in the sauces. Them. Yeah, they, that's a yeah. really great way to do it. Great, great. So let's go to your project, the book. Yes. Tell me about the process. Okay. I mean, when did you decide to put the book up and what did you go through putting the book up during the pandemic? Wow, you know, we shot the book. Uh, we were in talks with ABS-CBN Books even before the pandemic. I think even late last year, we were in talks and we decided to shoot, um, I think, in February. And we were ready to print and everything. The lockdown happened. Um, Got to be the most challenging style of editing I've ever done. So before Mesa Nimitis, I was in publishing for 12 years. So yes, you know yes. how we do it, right? With, uh, with mm -hmm. magazines. Everyone sits around a big table, mm -hmm. we all check proofs together. Yes. You have like six sets of eyes checking. Oh my God. Yeah. But like now, like they were sending me these huge proofs to my house yeah. and I had to check it myself and I'd send it to my editors and then the proofreader would get it. So yes. it took a little bit longer um, and mm -hmm. everything was done electronically. So many 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 yeah. versions but yeah. you know it came out at the right time i think now yes. the restrictions are a little bit um looser and yes. i think more importantly people are really recognizing the need for overall healthy diet yes. so um we get tons of inquiries what perfect should i do timing. Yeah. perfect timing so yeah. it it worked out just fine yes that's great so i'm really so happy because I remember seeing you in February before yes. the lockdown. You were going through the proofs with Nana and, and the rest of the team. So yep. I was just wondering what happened between then and <laughs> well, and the, press, the, the pandemic closed. happened. <laughs> <laughs> the printer closed. We were like, oh, so again, let's just see how it is, guys. Maybe yeah. we should wait. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to get any airtime or any news. Yes. That, that mm -hmm. just wasn't going to happen back then. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And in the middle of it, Mess and Mrs., we were able to answer um, needs of many yeah. people. So we, we had programs where we cooked for hundreds and thousands of people. Oh, yes. uh, we had donors donate just so we could provide healthy plant-based meals to frontliners, to yeah. locally stranded individuals. Um, we were serving uh, homes for the elderly. We're mm -hmm. now doing online classes for public schools to supplement them. Oh, that's we wow. did, yeah, we, we were able to, um, it just really shifted us to this different space that I, you know, uh, seven months ago, I didn't think we would, we would be doing this. Uh, we were able to put up a market called, which we called Market Nemesis, where we chucked mm -hmm. in vegetables from places, from farmers oh. who couldn't get yeah. the produce in, right. into lockdown barangays. So mm -hmm. it has um, is challenging, but mm -hmm. it really exploded to this other thing that I didn't know. And then now the cookbook, yes, um, I know. like the cherry on top of all of it. Yeah. So you're going in different directions, helping during the pandemic, finishing your book at the same time. So yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> so 
a lot. What a what an adventure and what an experience Absolutely. you went through. Absolutely, but what else are you gonna do sitting at yeah. home, right? Yeah. We can help from home. Um, yes. We have a lot of donors, a lot of people interested in yes. um in, in sponsoring these projects. So very very thankful yeah. for that. So it it was a, a journey that took a lot of. Uh, uh, First, left and right you. turns. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But all for the better. Yeah, all for the better. So tonight I heard you're cooking for me. What are, what are yes. we going to have? Yes, we are. Yes, so, I'm excited. <laughs> I heard you're maybe not a super fan of K-drama the way me and Gillette and the other girls on the team are. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of, K f of Korean food though. K-food. So yes. I, tonight we are making... A, I'm going to just move you here. A Korean uh, cape, we call it in the book, a K-pop bibimbap. So okay. we're using local ingredients. The, um, I know. Okay. Local ingredients. So normally, like, um, Korean food uses a lot of, like, spinach. They, they season yes. that. Instead of spinach tonight, we're using our native pet chai. Um, which okay. is so cheap. It's like 10, 15 pesos for a bundle. We're using pet chai. Yes. We're using sitao, um, tenga mm -hmm. ng daga for the mushrooms. Mushrooms, um, right. So it's, it's just super, um, whoa, what am I doing? Super easy to do. Um, yes. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to bring over my rice cooker from uh, my partners at Medea. Rice cooker, please. I figure out my apron. <laughs> you know, before this, before, before uh, I worked with Bidet, I didn't have a rice cooker. Like, <laughs> no, you would cook. How would you cook rice? The old way with the finger in, in the middle? Yes, in my liquor <laughs> <laughs> And it would drive everyone here crazy because, you know, it makes the thong and like crazy. Yeah, exactly. So, like, <laughs> I don't know how I did it. I've been married for like 12 years and I never owned yes. a rice cooker, but thanks to Medea, I want to show you a super cool rice cooker. I have a rice cooker now. So thanks. Yeah, finally. <laughs> finally, right? Like what took me so yes. long. And now I'm like, wow, the rice is so fluffy. I don't know if it's, it's, it's fluffy. But yeah, it's yeah, rice is fluffy now. <laughs> the rice cooker makes perfect rice. <laughs> yeah, you never have I to. Did like... not, I don't know why you didn't have such one for such a long time <laughs> you know like i like to keep my kitchen tight and like just as few yeah. things as possible and i was like where yeah, has possible. this thing been like my whole life <laughs> <laughs> it, it's madness why i didn't have madness, one yeah. so i'm gonna start um by sauteing so i think uh, we had this conversation earlier well like yeah the korean food um you find all the stuff that you need in the grocery deba. Right? Um, yes, right. So once you get the hang of the ingredients, it pretty much is more or less the same. Yeah. So my favorite yes. banchan in the Korean restaurant is the spinach and then the toge. I love yes. that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my favorite. So now instead of spinach, we're doing um, pet chai. Pet chai. And it's very, very yeah. simple. I think the hardest yeah. part about Korean food, if ever, um, is the prep. There's a lot yes. of like, yeah, there's walls. a lot of cutting and a lot of yeah. mise en place. <laughs> yes, a lot of it. Um, yeah. But hey, we're not going anywhere. We've got time. But <laughs> yeah, have a lot of time. It's really what it's really what uh, it makes it very pretty, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna save us some time now. So what yeah. I'm doing is I'm sauteing. sauteing yes. With very simple uh, sesame yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. I've already blanched my leek. So okay. that's a, when you watch the K drama, the Baparan, when they go home, lagin silang my leek. Like, what the But like, it's, <laughs> it's always so. Okay, I guess leeks are important. An important ingredient in Korean. Uh, yeah, it's, so it seems. Um, but yeah, I don't know about you. Like, when I watch, oh my gosh, I get hungry at night. Like, the ramen <laughs> and all this stuff. So yes, very simple. I'm just gonna saute yeah. this with a little bit of sesame oil and salt. So another thing that I do for messing this is like with my plant based cooking is we don't use too much oil. So I didn't yeah. put any oil, no base oil in this. 
sesame oh. oil. Um, you can cook with it, but yeah. sometimes uh, it comes out oily, the bar, like the yeah. Then and, and the sesame oil sometimes overpowers the uh, it the overpowers food. everything. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what we do um, in best cinnamon is, is we don't really use too much oil because added cholesterol it's added yeah. it's like at least another 100 calories which i'd rather eat rice <laughs> right, right, <laughs> for right. the next 100 True. calories the buff. Yeah. um so what i teach also a good tip is i make this up with water ah uh, okay yeah That's like something. you put you put in the onions first because onions yes. have a lot more moisture yeah. and then once like you see here like the pan has gone brown when yes. the pan is brown like that, you add a splash of water. Okay. Um, yeah, that really saves a lot of like um, uh -huh. extra calories. And then yes, for right. these Korean dishes, it's just a drizzle. Yeah, not too much oil. Yeah. Yeah, you the, don't want it. I think the, yeah, the, the Koreans also eat healthy, I think. There's lots of vegetables. Yeah, lots um, of vegetables. Another thing with like the Korean, I asked somebody, I said, how come they always talk about the dramas? Like, um, it's a good day, so I'll buy you meat. And like, is meat like an important thing? And then someone told me, you know, they really eat a lot of vegetables and buying meat is um, oh. it's a luxury. Yeah, Which it's... Is, you know, like, I think um, you don't need to have it every day, every day yes. with every Maybe meal. For special occasions maybe for the Koreans, yeah. Yes, um, and I think like uh, Fenoy's would benefit a lot from that. Yes. Even our vegetables here. Yeah. Have pork, all the yeah. time. The yeah, always has, uh, yeah, because when you make gisa, there's always pork. <laughs> there's always pork. Yeah. Like even if they, like it's hiding somewhere there, right? Yeah, then, then you, you'll see the pork. Yeah, so always. When you saute the vegetables, it's not for so long because you want to keep them crispy and no, green. No, so right? they're still they're still quite green. green. Yeah. yeah. Um, and actually, like a good trick of sauteing them is how the Chinese do it. Um, yeah. you throw in water and then you cover yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then you it's essentially um cooked. steamed. Yeah, yeah it's steamed. cooked. Yeah. It's cooked. So now what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build the sauce. So okay, we've got a staple gochujang. Yes, of here. course. Um, we have your rice, wine, vinegar, and I'm just going to mm -hmm. combine everything. Once you get a yeah. hang of all these, um, yes. flavors, it just, you know, it just comes together really well. We have yeah. minced garlic. Yes. And that's just all going to go in the middle. A little yes. bit of brown sugar, which is stuck now. So yeah, yeah this it, is it hardens, yeah. It's hard oh my yeah. gosh. I Brown it. sugar hardens fast. <laughs> really fast, my goodness. What happened to you? There. So you just mix it, that's it. Yeah, you just mix it together. It's such an easy uh yeah. sauce bowl. to make. Yeah. Sauce to make, it's an easy bowl to build. Yes, right. Um yeah, I'm just gonna grab one sec chopsticks okay. here to okay. to put it together and what like a lot of times i end up making up a lot of recipes yeah, for my kids for my for my family um and since we eat like a lot of uh, we're plant-based i always have bits and bobs of gulai yes in in my house so yeah. here we have Itao, which is super, super high in protein. Uh, okay. A dish I discovered, um, uh, or sorry, a vegetable I discovered during the Mesonimus' journey was sitao seeds, okay. which can oh, okay. really replace uh, your meat. You put it in sauce, mm -hmm. you, put it, you put it in different places where you okay. would normally have meat and it's so cheap. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Super, super cheap. Uh, Sita is the long, is the long bean, right? Yes. Yeah, so in yeah, English, not, it's not, your... Not the French bean. No, not the munch, <laughs> munch tut. <laughs> it's, it's, it's expensive, but yeah, I, it's I do expensive. love that. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's quite a treat. So like at home, yeah. we really have a lot of these local vegetables, you know, like, uh, one thing I love uh, recently is uh, called Future Fresh. Um, it's a website. It's hydroponically grown. It's so near you. You yeah. know, they're um, 
they 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 built something like their hydroponic out of a container guard uh, a container like old containers okay. um hydropon hydroponically grown and yeah, that's yeah. like such a treat for our family we love yeah. their baby spinach and their baby yes. kale but you know we don't um that's just something you know it's a good it's, it's a nice treat yeah but like you can absolutely live on your bahay vegetables. So yeah, because you know, a lot of people, wow. <laughs> then you just put the sauce. Yep, on the middle. Sorry, you were saying a lot of people. So, you know, a lot of people during the pandemic started gardening. Yeah. So they started absolutely. growing their own vegetables, and their own herbs, right? They're not planting broccoli. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. They're not planting kale. No, they're not planting at all. Okra. The Bahai Kubok vegetables. Simple Alubati, vegetables. That's yeah. what they're planting. And I like and kamote tops. I mean, kamot, I, oh wow. wow. And you'll love my next. Yeah. And this is it. That is. Wow. Now you're getting me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ba our K pop bibimbap. So now that you mentioned, I'm just going to switch this stuff around. Now that you mentioned kamote tops, I love, love. Do you eat that for like a I salad? I love the water tops. Yeah, in a salad, it's perfect. Yeah, with onions and, yes, and tomatoes. tomato. Yes. Um, sometimes I don't even use oil. I just use calamansi. No more. Yeah, that's, yeah, calamansi, that's it. Yeah, so, that's my favorite. This is, your, this is your magic tea, right? Yes, my magic potion, which my parents forced me yeah. The drinks. <laughs> well, tell me how you got to, uh, got to doing this tea. So I, did you know, Raul, you can get dengue four times. There's four different um, strains of dengue. I did, what, really? I only <laughs> thought there was one. There are apparently four. So a uh, long, long time ago, I worked at a renewable energy power plant. So I was going to the sites, the dump site, a lot to yeah. check on on progress and um uh -huh. i got it twice it was incredible they said you can get okay. it four times anyway back then my uh -huh. dad was like you know i read that uh, you drink kamote tops the the water where it's boiled yeah. and it's gonna bring bring up your platelets when you okay. get dengue it's your platelets that drop um and that's what makes it very dangerous your blood yes, is right. now right so they were um my my mom and dad brought uh, kamote, the water ah, to the hospital. Yeah. Disgusting, you know, the way yeah, sure. <laughs> they were like, the just sound drink of it. Kamote water. <laughs> yeah, kamote was disgusting. Was like, drink it, drink it. But you know, it worked. Like, um, yeah. the doctors, traditional doctors, don't really want you to mess around with other stuff, especially yeah. with this, because yeah. um, the dark kamote, it's dark. They're like, oh, it's going to change the color. We won't know if there's blood in your... So when shadow. you boil the kamote tops, it turns brown? It's, it's actually... Um, well, that's because I'm using purple kamote. Ah, okay. Um, and there's something like in purple vegetables called anthracite, okay. which um, it's just added um, added nutrition. So okay. like purple, purple eggplant, purple cabbage, purple kale, purple yeah. kamote so, has an extra um, nutrient okay. component to I it. Didn't see this. I'm learning so many things tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like using green. Yeah. Instead of buying green cabbage, I should buy purple cabbage. Right? Yeah, mix it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's purple for a reason. It has lots of lots of extra vitamins there. They say I okay. eat the rainbow. So for us, voila, purple cabbage is, you know, that's for uh, maybe a fancier places, but we do have purple kamote tops. I didn't so, know that. I always thought it was green. <laughs> yeah, this I I choose the purple one. Okay. Um, when you boil it, it's not that pretty. But anyway, yeah. back then, my parents forced me to drink it. And my gosh, my my platelets went up every hour because every couple okay. hours, they'll they'll draw your blood yeah. um, and they'll see, is it going up? My gosh, mine was going up and up and up. And I attribute it to this stuff. So yeah. I decided to make it a little more palatable. Yes. Um, and therefore came up with this tea. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, very easy. And so what I've done is uh, these are the kamwata leaves. We okay. boiled it 15, 20 minutes. You'll see the water change 
yeah. color anyway. And this is something that's quite cool. Yeah. Can you see that? You can see. Yeah. So you don't put anything else but the kamo the kamote water. Well, this is the kamote water, and now I hope it uh -huh. does it this time. Can you see it's turning yeah. pink? Oh yeah, it is. It's it added, is. Right. What? Yeah. You, what did you add? This is kalamansi. So. Just kalamansi turned it. This is wow. kalamansi. It's yeah. messy, and Mrs. Pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Oh yeah. So it's like my, and then I'm just gonna add um, honey. Okay. Uh, this is something my kids will drink this because they're like, oh, magic tea. Yeah. <laughs> so this, there you go. This tastes fantastic. And you know, I don't know if this is like Ooh. scientific proof or whatever, but sometimes like well, um, when I don't want to eat now or I'm just trying to cut down eating so much, you know, I found this really makes me full. Maybe it's the honey. Maybe it's yeah. the, I don't know what it is, but it okay. keeps you busog. So there you have it. That's very simple. Um, yeah. We have this at home uh, mm -hmm. a lot instead of water, yeah. instead of juice. We yeah. have this. And now it's a pretty uh, pink color. The green kamote yeah. tops won't do this. It'll stay No, won't brown. do that. Okay. No. Then, I mean, <laughs> you were making me cuento that your dad had... You had to send the tea to one of the actors. Ah, yes, yeah. I did. Um, he believes in this drink so much. One time, Gerald Anderson's the okay. cheapness. He got dengue. <laughs> okay. uh, maybe four years ago, four or five years yeah. ago, he got dengue. My dad called me. Can you go? You're near the hospital he's in. Gerald got dengue from vaping. So yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Me? I have to go home. Like, I'm going to faint, right? Of course, everyone in my house is freaking out. Mom, yeah. mama ako! Can you? <laughs> everyone wanted to come with me, but I ended up going. Um, I didn't I didn't get to see him because he was resting, but I gave yeah. his um, bantay this tea. Yeah. Um, and that's just like how much um, our family like really believes in this Believes stuff. in the tea, yeah. Yeah, so, and it turns out that the tea actually, um, when you boil the water, it releases a lot of nutrients into the water. Um, okay. So when you when you have it together, what's left in the leaves is like a lot of fiber. Yeah. But that's why when you when you boil vegetables, it turns green. That means all the nutrients yes. have seeped out already. But this yeah. is good in this case for the commodity. Yeah. I'm gonna try that tomorrow. I'm gonna buy some uh, purple purple commodity. Kamote, yeah. okay. <laughs> so let's talk about some of your partners. I, you know, I tried the chocolates of Christian. Huh? Oh my goodness! My Which is your it's, favorite? I like oh, the. Uh, I have them. The, uh, yeah, I I like the calabasa caramel. I mean, it was excellent. That's my favorite. Yeah. You wouldn't I mean, think that there's a. You won't think that it's calabasa. Yeah, exactly. It was, it's very good. You know, he's one of the best chocolate people in town. He is. So. You know, um, what we did, like when we started on Mesa de Mises, is I wanted to tap, I tapped, uh, you know, some of our favorite places to eat, Wildflower, Anya, M Dining, places mm. where lots of people go. I tapped them. I said, guys, can we do something with the local vegetables here? Yeah. I want people to see that you can enjoy local vegetables in a different way. way and that's yeah. what I did with Christian for <laughs> um, these chocolates. So there's yeah. three flavors in yeah. this. And I'm promoting it here because we're, um, we actually talked the other day and we're going to be, he's going to be selling this. Proceeds yeah. will go to Mess and Mrs. Oh, great. Um, to fund our project. So thank yeah. you, Christian. Um, <laughs> and what, so. what, what I told him when we met was like, I was like, I want, uh, chocolates with vegetables and he didn't flinch he was okay. like okay I think I know what to do for you yeah, and so okay. here we have our flavors our kamote calabasa yes. um what's the other one? kamote calabasa and kamates kamates yeah and it's yeah all three are good but my favorite is the calabasa me too it's it, it's it's incredible um I've yeah, had incredible. very lucky to have um really good partners, partners for the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if it, I don't know if they'll be as happy as I am to be working yeah. with them. But uh -huh. um, our partnership has really extended 
far longer than the book because of the pandemic. Um, so yeah. one of my big partners was Maxi Care. They came and found me two, three years ago because their CEO yes. is also plant-based. He's a cancer survivor. So mm-hmm. he's very, very, um, he's a big convert to plant-based eating. So for Maxi Care, yes. I do a lot of um, cooking for them, health seminars, wellness seminars. Um, yes. Selene is another partner. Um, yeah. for gas they uh, throughout the pandemic they powered all our feeding our big outreach programs are providing yeah. gas for us um, yeah. we have Medea who I cooked with today and my new rice cooker because now I have <laughs> Your one new rice cooker yeah. it's from Medea now I have yeah. one new rice yeah. um, and there uh, yesterday or sorry two days ago we were able to gift one of the el- homes for the elderly, elderly called mm-hmm. Golden Gaze that we work yeah. with, with a new gas range and a hood. Um, mm-hmm. And they give, they've given stuff to so many other people that we work with. Of course, yes. um, Nutriasia, I've been using yeah. Summer Swan and that to put the yeah. ever since. I mean, for yeah. me, it's synonymous. Like you'll say, oh, yung dato puti, that means suka. Yeah. Diba? yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like the whole yeah, Because you don't want to use again. Yeah, those Japanese branded uh, soy sauce because it doesn't taste the same like a local soy sauce. Yes. So actually, that's yeah. another trick that I found um, to make it palatable uh-huh. to the communities that I go to. You can't use fancy stuff. It's not their panglasa. It's this. No, it's not. It's this not. what they're used mm-hmm. to. It's the silver not, swan, yes. Yes, and I'm not going to change that yeah. because they won't like it, number one. Number two, you can't find this in the Talipapa. You can't yeah. find it. Uh-huh. Um, you can't find that fancy stuff there. You can find this mm-hmm. everywhere, you know. Yes, so, right. The yeah, bar, they have little, they, I think they even have sachets of toy yeah. or something, right? And the truth yeah. is, that's what people use. That's what they look for. And for me, yeah. I'm just happy that they're even trying to eat vegetables. The mm-hmm. right? like with. with with um, the recipes in the book, have a budget of two fifty to three fifty because that's what oh. people bring home. Yeah, for a family yes. of four to six, mm-hmm. um, it, you, that it can serve you. And you know that's what fits their budget. That's their taste. We're not going to yes. divert mm. from that. Yeah. Um, and lastly, of course, tonight we're using our dinnerware from Mellowers, which I love because you will find them everywhere. They do everyone's plates. Yeah, in affordable. Home super sturdy i'm sure even if you don't know if it's mellowers it is the palak. yeah it's mellowers yeah it's, i'm sure it is and it, i love i love cooking with it yeah. so i'm very very um thankful for my partners and of course abs cbn books always be capamilia at heart <laughs> yeah so why why did you stick to only four 40 recipes why did you make it a little bit thicker <laughs> those were the 40 <laughs> favorites of um, people in barangays so um people ask me like what's like the best compliment you get who is who gives you the best compliment for me the best compliments come from the people when i cook for lots of people that's what matters to me because it resonates with them um and they like it so these 40 I have tried out there for hundreds of people and my kids. <laughs> I think if yeah. kids like it, um, most people will like yeah. it. So before the pandemic, you used to go to different barangays to teach these women yes. how to cook plant-based, yes. right? Yeah, um, that's how I started, uh, meeting them in basketball courts, yes. asking them. Um, I know you know my cousin, Alex Aduke from Move Ed. Yes. And I would start by piggybacking on her community. When they'd have talks, she'd include me as like the health yeah. uh, speaker mm-hmm. like that. And I'd, I'd learn from them, like, what do you cook? What do you cook with? Um, yeah. So like here, my setup now, I'm just gonna mm-hmm. push this back in, yeah. is basically this. The, the idea behind these recipes, actually that's another reason it's these 40. You can cook everything on one pan, and one hot yeah. plate, which one is kawale, right? one kawale. Just one kawale, yeah. Yeah, which is what many they many have. Filipinos have. They yeah. have no refrigerators. Don't no. they don't have a six? So, um, yeah. one of my favorite recipes in the books was inspired by Senator Pia Cayetano. You'll see it there. It's called mm. Pia's Paella. We did a paella yeah. together um, in Pateros. We cooked there. 
Okay. And we cooked it on one pan. And when I was yeah. successful there, I was like, wow, okay, oh. this will work. This will work um, for yeah. everybody. So that's the idea. Um, some people who do our plant-based challenge say, what kitchen equipment do you need? I'm like, you have a pot? You have a pan? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, just one kawali. That's all you need. Yeah. One kawali. So will there, be a, will there be a book too? I hope so. So far, Volume two. We're doing, we're doing well, as I'm told. So yes. fingers and toes yes. crossed. I hope, I hope so. Yeah. But for now, I'd like everyone to enjoy the book, uh, our 40, first 40 oh, recipes. Yeah. So I'm going to be cooking some of your recipes uh, this weekend. Yes, please. <laughs> I want to do, I want to do the, I want to do the beef and bob thing. Yeah, it's yummy. You can honestly, you can use whatever you find in the palenque yeah, yeah. to put in this. But, but I know. Just, I'll follow your advice. I'll just use the Bahai Kubo noodles. Yes. Uh, uh, vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables. I'll stick to that. Yeah. Because I, I tend to buy, like I buy kale and sometimes I forget and it gets rotten in the refrigerator. Right? There goes so, your 300 pesos. That's all of this. Exactly. <laughs> it's not cheap. It's not cheap. If your pet chai rot, that's not so painful. <laughs> yeah, it's like 30 pesos compared yeah. to 300 pesos. No? Not so much okay. like it. <laughs> so, Thank you so much for tonight. I had so much fun with you, Thank Juana. you so much, Raul. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for staying up. <laughs> no, no. For you, anything. For you and your dad, anything. So, oh the books are available on Shopee, Lazada, and National Bookstore from ABS-CBN Books. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you, Raul. Thank you, Metro yeah. Doctor, for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Buy the book. Buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it. Thank you. Thank you.